Hi, welcome back to this channel. In this video, we are still in chapter 10, carboxylic acid and its derivative. We are going to focus on preparation of carboxylic acid in this video. So generally, these are the few methods that we can use to prepare carboxylic acid. First, oxidation of primary alcohol, aldehyde and alkyl benzene with benzylic hydrogen. Okay, please remark. Second, undergo hydrolysis of nitrile. And then the third one is the carbonation of Grignard reagent. Means that the Grignard reagent creates with the carbon dioxide and followed by hydrolysis. Okay, without wasting the time, here just want to add on a few information for you. Okay, nitrile. Okay, for your information, nitrile is the compound with the functional group CN. So generally, nitrile only will undergo two types of reaction. First one, based on here, is hydrolysis, which is H2O. H plus or H3O plus also okay. And here, since we are in the topic of preparation of carboxylic acids, mean that we know the nitrile nitrile group will become carboxyl group. Okay, this is the first reaction. Another reaction that carried out by nitrile, which always in our syllabus, is the reduction, which we will use lithium aluminium hydride dry ether and then followed by hydrolysis. So if this is the case happen, the alkyl group will remain the same, the carbon remain and reduction is gain hydrogen. So you will notice that we add the hydrogen at both carbon and nitrogen. So this is the process of oxidation. And this is the process of reduction. Okay, so please take note and we will continue with the tutorial question soon. Okay, tutorial question number six. We are going to convert the butano to pentanoic acid. When this is the case, we notice that number of carbon increase. So if the number of carbon increase, we can relate with the chapter haloalkane. So like just now when we think about the preparation of haloalkane, we know that haloalkane can relate with KCN. And then to form nitrile, nitrile can relate, undergo hydrolysis to form carboxylic acid. At the same time, haloalkane also can form Grignard reagent and the Grignard reagent can react with carbon dioxide followed by hydrolysis to form carb uh, carboxylic acid as well. So now let's start with question 6a here. We use two methods, butano which consists of four carbon and then the First carbon bonded with the hydroxyl group. Okay, so since want to relate with the haloalkane, so you can relate with PCl5, then CH3, CH2, CH2 will maintain only the functional group of OH replaced by the Cl. Okay, and then here if we relate with the KCN. So you will get the nitrile CH3, CH2, 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 and the Cl will replace with the Cn. Then this nitrile will undergo hydrolysis. So once undergo hydrolysis, we will get CH3, CH2, 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 and this one will become COOH. So this is the first method. If you think that we don't want to go through the nitrile, there is another way, like just now we mentioned, we will still involve the haloalkane. But this time, we are going to react with magnesium to form Grignard reagent. 
So here will become MgCl. And then this green reagent going to react with carbon dioxide followed by hydrolysis. So normally I will combine these two uh, processes together. Okay, then we start from the structure of carbon dioxide. As we know, carbon dioxide have two double bond O. So now we maintain one double bond O and then another one break the double bond form two new single bond. Okay, so one single bond over here, another one single bond over here. So followed by hydrolysis, the MgBr will bonded to the uh, replace with the hydrogen, and then for this one we will connect it to CH two. Okay, CH two, CH two, and the last one is CH three. Okay, due to the space, so I can draw it like this. So it is depends on you how you draw the structure. So at here I show we show you two method or two way two different pathway to get the pentanoic acid from butanol. Okay, question number B, propanoic acid to propene. Okay, this question is not related with the preparation of carboxylic acid, uh, but more to reaction of carboxylic acid. Okay, so propanoic acid to propene. So uh, if you can see this, normally previously we learned propene first and then only propanoid acid. So means that now for this question, we have to reverse the equation. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, reverse the reaction. So propanoid acid with three carbon, with the carboxyl group, CH3, CH2. So we can undergo reduction, lithium aluminum hydride in dry ether, followed by hydrolysis. So, carboxylic acid when undergo reduction directly will produce primary alcohol. So, CH3, CH2, methane, the hydroxyl group will become CH2OH, which is the primary alcohol. Then, the primary alcohol react with the concentrated H2SO4 to form propene. Okay, so CH2, CH, CH3. Sorry, don't forget the heat when uh, the alcohol undergo dehydration. Okay, question C. 2-chlorobutan to ethanol acid. So basically when we look at here, the number of carbon is decreasing. So we will think about the ozonolysis. Okay, which is involved the chapter L key. Okay, so two chlorobutan, so we come first, we have four carbon, second carbon with the Cl, so this one with CH3, CH, CH2, and CH3. So just now we say that when number of carbon decreasing, we will think about the ozonolysis or oxidation okay, of alkene. So when from here then we know that uh, we need to convert them to alkene first. So if want to convert to alkene, so if hello alkene want to convert with alkene, we are going to use KOH in ethanol and then also heat and then we will produce CH3 CH double bond CH and CH3 okay so once we get the alkene we are going to undergo oxidation in this case we will not carry out ozonolysis because we know that ozonolysis of alkene generally will produce carbonyl compound. So if we react with this, so means that the double bond will break, so we will produce CH3, C double bond, O, and H. Okay, so we will like doing the ozonolysis, we will add the oxygen at the double bond. However, because of this, we still have a hydrogen here. 
and KMnO4 is strong oxidizing agent. So it will be, as long as there are still hydrogen, it will further undergo oxidation. So then we will add on the O in front of the H, and then this one will become ethanoic acid. Okay, question 6D, butanoic acid to butana. This is also the reaction of uh, carboxylic acid, uh, not under the topic of Preparation. Okay, never mind. We still uh, learn this before. So butanol acid to butanol. Uh, sorry, butana. Uh, just now we have mentioned that if carboxylic acid undergo uh, reduction, definitely they will direct goes to the car alcohol. So maybe we can remark over here. Primary alcohol oxidized with weak oxidizing agent will produce aldehyde. Then aldehyde undergo oxidation will produce carboxylic acid. Primary alcohol also can directly produce carboxylic acid with strong oxidizing agent. Okay. However, if carboxylic acid undergo reduction there is no choice, they must always go to primary alcohol. Okay, so means that if I use the butanoid acid with 4 carbon, so the carboxyl group at the first carbon, CH3, CH2, CH2, and then we'll undergo reduction, lithium aluminium hydride, dry ether, and then followed by hydrolysis, we will get primary alcohol. CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2OH. Okay, then this primary alcohol will react with weak oxidizing agent, PCC in pyridine. Sorry, PCC in CH2Cl2. PCC is CH2Cl2, then it will become CH3, CH2, CH2, C double bond O, H. So if you notice that uh, this is the functional group, this here is the changes. Okay, so we always focus on the functional group only. Okay, now we are in tutorial question number 8. So in general, when we get this kind of question, first thing we always try to identify the functional group. So in this case, we get two functional group, halogen and also aldehyde. CHO can become C double bond O, H. When we look at this KMnO4, H plus heat come out in our mind is the oxidation. So oxidation able happen at the carbonyl compound, but hello alkane does not undergo oxidation. So that's why the structure will become CH3, CCl methane because there is no reaction, CH, CH2. So the C double bond OH will become C double bond O, OH. So again, you will notice the functional group have the changes. Okay, then next we continue with the question B. When we look at the question B, we identify the functional group is hydroxyl group. Again, we can see K2Cr2O7 also is the oxidation. So this alcohol is primary alcohol and then with strong oxidizing agent. So like last question, we already revised. Primary alcohol made with Strong oxidizing agent will produce carboxylic acid. So CH3, CH2, C double bond O, OH. So let's focus on here. We also, the functional group will have the changes. The rest we will maintain the same. Okay, now we are in tutorial question number 9. When we look at this question, we will only focus on P, X, Y, and Z because these four are related with the preparation of carboxylic acid. 
Okay, so let's start with uh, P. Once again, we look at uh, KMnO4, we know that this is the oxidizing a uh, oxidation. Okay, and this oxidizing agent is considered strong. So if strong oxidizing agent, we will able to use primary alcohol. So based on the structure over here, oh sorry, maybe we need to highlight this. Okay, this is the carboxylic acid. So if we want to produce this carboxylic acid from the primary alcohol, so I need to uh, maintain the cyclic part and then the COOH will become CH2OH. Beside primary alcohol, undergo oxidation will form carboxylic acid. We also can use aldehyde, C double bond O. So again, you will see this part is the changes. Okay, always focus on the functional group. Okay, then next we go to the question X over here. So when this is the X, we can see the nitrile becomes COOH. So as we in the beginning of the chap, uh, video, we say that nitrile only can undergo two reactions. Okay, one is reduction and then another one is hydrolysis. So this one X definitely is very clear. It is hydrolysis, H2O, H3O plus. So why this is the greener reagent and becomes COOH? So the MgCl, uh, sorry, MgBr becomes the COOH. So basically we know that the Y is the carbon dioxide and then and followed by hydrolysis as well okay so next one is the z okay so when we look at the z here the functional group that we able to look at here is the carbon carbon double bond so and then we know the double bond will break down and then become cooh so again this one the z is the kmno4 H plus H. Okay, so I think this video already finished discuss all the tutorial questions which are related with the preparation of carboxylic acid. So in next video, we will focus on the chemical properties or which means that is the chemical reaction that can carry out by carboxylic acid. Okay, see you in next video. Bye-bye.